Crabby is a wonderful fish for grilling, frying, baking, boiling. It's uh, just a wonderful all-purpose fish. The following scene may be graphic. They may contain blood, fish guts, and other things not suitable for children to watch. For this particular operation, we need a serrated knife. I like a nice Dextra Russell. This is about a 10-inch serrated knife. Come in behind the peck fin. Cut down and forward up to the head. Saw through the bone until you get the head about half cut off on one side. Then we're going to flip it over. I'm going to make a cut at the vent. This is called the vent. Some people would call it the ass. So when I pull the head off, all the guts will come out at one time. Come and cut through the head. Okay, what we want to do is to take all of the guts of this fish out at one time. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut through a little bit of the membrane, grab hold, boom, all the guts. That's the intestines, stomach, blood, nasty stuff. We also know that this is a female. She's got roast sacs that have some connective tissue up inside. I'm going to gently go up in there so that I can break it loose and bring out the roast sacs. Fish roast is a delicacy. Fish row is where caviar comes from. Anyway, that's a, a beautiful set of uh, uh, fish row right there. And I've got some friends of mine who really like them, so I save them for them. Which I think is particularly important because if you kill a female fish and you take her out of egg laying, you really ought to try to make some use of that. All right, now that we have uh, taken the head off and removed the guts, Take your hose, stick it in, make all the blood go away. Now when you fillet this out, you can do it on a clean table. And if you're not going to dress the fish out right now, all you need to do is pack the belly cavity with ice and put them into a big well insulated cooler and keep them buried in ice. You can do that and keep them for four, five, six, seven days and still have a really good, delicious product. This fish has already had the head and guts and the belly removed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a couple of cuts at the tail. This will make the tail pieces that we're going to smoke. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and make a, a, a shallow cut all the way around the top side of the fish. Flip it, go ahead and make your other cuts on the other side. Cut through the skin all the way up to the head. This fish does not skin easily. So what we'll do is we'll come in here, find the bones that uh, run down <clears throat> the middle of the fish, turn your knife so that your knife follows those bones all the way from the tail to the head. Then you open it up because there's a set of bones that also runs right down the middle. When those have been cut through, turn the knife sideways and, and bend it so that it will track the bones on the bottom side and cut out the bottom fillet. And then what you get is a gorgeous chunk of meat. When I do the back side, I like to go ahead and leave it laying down. I can often see the knife go in and then follow the bones all the way up like we did on the other side. Flip it over, open it up. Cut down the center bones. Turn the knife in sideways. Cut down and out. Cut all the way to the head. Now if you've got a little bit of something that's Hanging on, you can go ahead and take the time right now to clean this off. So when you put it in the cooler, it doesn't mess up some fish that's already in there. Cut out the last tail piece. If there's anything that's left, it might be usable, cut it out. I usually keep a scrap bag for things that can end up being little fish bites or you could even actually grind it up and make fish balls or something with it. Once you've uh, done it, if you've done a decent job of it, when you get finished, you can see through the carcass of the fish and you know that you've gotten the vast majority of what's 
what's uh, edible off the fish. It'd be nice if you could read a newspaper through it, but that's a little bit difficult to do. Yeah.